What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing PSI or Precision Sport Industries here in Oviedo, Florida. They're a brand new G87 M2. They've only had it for a couple weeks now, but it's fully modded, so we're gonna show you guys that. And then we're also here for an Orlando Beamer Club meet. PSI is kind enough to be hosting the meet this month, so we are here. My boy, Danny, just pulled up. We're here a little early, but uh, I wanted to get you guys some behind the scenes footage of the M2 before everybody gets here. But this should be a good turnout. The monthly meets have been popping lately. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, OBC is back in effect, honestly. Like, oh, yeah. since COVID, yeah. we've had, what, two, three meets now? Yeah, They've yeah, been yeah. Doing but yo, I think Sean or somebody just started the G87. I gotta get used to saying that. But uh, right. I'm gonna give you guys some behind the scenes footage of it right now. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, boys, here we go. First look at PSI's G87 M2 in the Xanfrodite blue. I know I'm butchering that and probably not even pronouncing it right, but here we go. I think they just got the car about two weeks ago, and already you guys can see it's lowered, has wheels, has some carbon fiber in the front right there, which we'll show you. And then it also has some other goodies that uh, Sean, the owner here at PSI, just told us about. Let's give you guys a little walk around. Comment down below. <laughs> What do you guys think about the new M2? I've had my opinions reserved on Instagram for a long time, but uh, that's just my opinions, of course. Everybody has their own opinion on it, on the G-Series as a whole. I think from certain angles, you know, it looks like a Lego car. certain angles it does look kind of sporty but just like the hard edges and the squared off design you know is something that you know I'm obviously not used to coming from the F series the color is actually super super nice it's like a uh, baby blue I would say and again this car is brand new yeah what do you think about the color yeah it's kind of like Yas Marina in person honestly like very similar yeah in person it's not as bad I'll yeah say that for sure for it's sure bad in person. I just Probably. watched uh, a couple videos one with vehicle virals who is actually here in Orlando right. and he said it the best he said from the side profile he said that's the best profile I think on this car and obviously their car is lowered with wheels so it already looks 10 times better than the ones that you see online and obviously like the G8 X is you know when you saw the car in person it was a lot better and I will say you know at least the side profile it looks a lot better than I, I've seen online but let's go back around to the front we'll come back to the wheels in a little bit but right here we have the one LED headlight instead of the two that we have in our previous BMWs and they obviously have a carbon fiber engine cover right here. They have the carbon fiber scrub brace from Keys Motorsports already installed. They already went zero to 100 real quick on this car. <laughs> and then right here, you have the M Performance. What is that, like front lip or fangs? So Danny pointed out it's actually a full lip. Definitely adds a nice aggressive touch to it. I like the shadow line package or whatever this one is with the carbon vents. That looks super nice. But again, in my personal opinion, I think if the uh, front grille part maybe was paint match, it would have been a little more cohesive. But what do you guys think about the front end? Very boxy, of course. I think the front and the rear are not its best, you know, angles, but everybody has their own opinion, of course. Moving right along to the side over here, the front three-quarter shot definitely doesn't look bad because, again, they're lowered and they're on wheels. These are Titan 7 forged wheels, of course. What do you think about the uh, wheel choice? I love I Titans. I've always yeah, loved yeah. Titans, honestly. Yeah, forged can't go wrong. The silver on the blue actually looks super nice. Good contrast, of Maybe course. Got paint match reflectors already. And then obviously you guys see they're already lowered. I think it's on AST suspension. Super clean. Got the M mirror cap. We'll give you guys another view of the side profile, which again, doesn't look too bad on camera. Comment down below what you guys think. What do you think about the side profile? No comment. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, if you kids played with Bionicles, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it looks like they added some more M Performance carbon winglets right here on the door. I also noticed that they didn't include like a little grill cut out here that says M2 right here, like it does on our cars. And then moving right along to the rear three quarters. This right here, I think, is probably the least attractive angle in my own opinion. At the end of the day, it is a BMW, so I gotta respect that and I love all BMWs. But right here, we have super hard edges and this uh, unique design right here from the uh, rear bumper. In previous pictures, I kind of resembled the rear bumper as like a, uh, a dumbbell. Like you can just hold it right there and just start curling it. But <laughs> right here we have these uh, unique, unique headlights. To me, they remind me of uh, like Bumblebee from Transformers. I think that's what it looks like the most. But let me know what you guys think down below. I've seen a couple M240s that look decent and they have obviously the same body. But let me know what you guys think about these taillights right here. We have a black diffuser. We have the anniversary badge right here, 50 anniversary badge. This one does not have the bucket seats, which we will show you guys the interior in just a second. But 
Let me know what you guys think about this rear right here. I think the jagged angles and stuff is throwing me off. I think if they add like a, a bigger spoiler, it would look a lot better as well. Yeah. Any yeah. thoughts? <laughs> so, the jagged edges, yeah, I mean. It's like really me, sharp edges. Yeah, exactly. Like this, the rear shot, the direct rear shot's probably the worst angle on the car. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, side profile, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not but bad. It, it, it needs work. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what aftermarket mods come out for it. Oh, you know, for sure, that's yeah. That's be really exciting. Yeah, uh, and similar to G80 Danny. Exactly. It's, it's gonna grow on a lot of people if it hasn't already, so obviously the aftermarket world is gonna come out with a bunch of stuff for these cars, which is gonna make it look 10 times better. Moving back into the engine, obviously, before we get back into the interior. Obviously, this is powered by the beautiful S58 engine that can make tons of power once it's unlocked. I think the uh, stock power on this one is detuned and it's making about 453 or something like that. All right, we got Towson's in the house. He just showed up. Fist bump the camera. Fist bump the camera. Let's get his raw reaction on the new G87 M2 because we just got Danny's. What do you think about it after seeing right. it in person? So I'm sure the channel knows that I don't like G80s. I don't like the G series at all. I'm a big F8X E46 guy. And um, it looks better in person, but I still don't like it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think we uh, all have that in common, I would say. I was telling the channel that the way PSI and Sean did it already, obviously made it look 10 times better than what we see online. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, like this right here, looks 100 times worse in pictures. Like this, in pictures, yeah. In pictures, this is 100 times worse. Because people be posting like wide angle pictures or just like, I don't know, iPhone pictures that make it just look hey, trash. Come on, come on, come on. Go from <laughs> this, let's look, this, yeah. and then. To that, bam, and bam, bam. to mention. Yeah. It's a big car. Yeah. Like seeing it in person next to an E92, an E36, even an F8X, like, mm -hmm. it's a decently sized car. It's, it's wide as can be, but it's a big car. Yeah. It's the size of an E92. Yeah. That's, that's I think it, it weighs, which is crazy because it's a shorter wheelbase, but exactly. it weighs as much as his car. Yeah. <laughs> which, again, it's yeah. still it's still an M car, obviously. It's still going to feel great around the track. Now that I see it, it's, it's huge. Yeah. Like, wider. Wider for sure. But obviously BMW had to go in the direction they are going because, you know, that's that's just the name of the game. And obviously these are going to sell like hotcakes as well. You saw the G80s, they yeah, sold. 100%. Or there was so much discrepancy about the G8Xs and now everywhere you go, all you see is G8Xs. Yeah, yeah. So. I feel like the JDM crowd for some reason is really going to like this car. Like soon you're going to see them cambered out, bagged the whole <laughs> thing. Like it just has that look to it, I Yeah, guess. I can see this bag. But let's go ahead and show you guys the interior real quick. It has the new iDrive screen, and of course, Sean had to spec it out with the manual, if you guys know Sean from PSI. The seats are absolutely beautiful, and I've heard these are very comfortable, and I've also heard that the bucket seats are also very comfortable. You know, standard G8X interior. But my favorite part that I've seen online, and now in person, are these little... <laughs> Wang has a, an opinion about them, but these little uh, door sill cards right here, I think they're supposed to say M2, but this one is like M colored, which is a pretty nice touch. I think they're all M colored. Oh, they're all M colored? Yeah. And then we obviously have the M2 insignia right here in the door, but pretty standard G8X interior, top of the line, compared to previous generations, of course. And then this is a new touch as well that we saw online. There's no really like real door handle, kind of like a Tesla. So that's pretty unique. We put the yellow DRLs on today, but that basically wraps it up for PSI's G87 M2. They also have their mid pipe on the car right now. And yeah, we'll show you guys the rest of the cars at this meet. All right, music's back on, so I'm gonna talk quick. We have PSI's shop car right here. This is Sean's personal E30. Absolute beauty of a race car. We also have their shop G80 that is now blue and not pink, which is uh, fully kitted out with some Vorsteiner parts. You guys see the wheels right there. We have a beautiful E90 right here, a 2002, I believe, an E36 M3, and we have two badass E92 M3s over there. A quick correction, they told me they've only had the car for like 48 hours, so it's not even two weeks yet, but it's just crazy. They're going zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> And then uh, one of the workers here has just, just said that they uh, plan to tune it very soon. So make sure you guys follow PSI, follow their Instagram, and follow their YouTube channel for more updates. All right, so we are outside right now. A bunch of cars have shown up. I'm going to walk around and show you guys all the cool, unique BMW builds here. Part of the Orlando Beamer Club, of course. Got some beautiful builds right here. And the weather is actually prime right now. Feels amazing. Mint. It was raining earlier, but now we are Gucci. We got a Supra, old and new. This is like the whole blue row right here. 
<laughs> you guys see the sunset making these cars look so good the daytona violent on the new bvs's that's the homie f30 f80 look at the sunset on these cars man looks super clean right now golden hour got a beautiful e36 right here nice little turnout today on a beautiful friday afternoon I'm trying to showcase all the cars here today everybody's car looking nice even Corolla. Fernando's Corolla. <laughs> Shout out to Gassed M2, to M2 on man. MG. Alpine White? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Gassed M2 on Instagram. This is his uh, temporary car until his G87 M2 comes in. F82 guy right here. Got the beautiful E30 M3. This thing is an absolute gem. The freaking classics, man. Can't beat them. And this one's super clean. And this red is beautiful. Another E30 and another E30. Damn. Can't beat the styling of these older M3s, man. They just look so, so good. Skyscraper. It's tough. Tough. Is this Portimao? Yeah, Portimao. Portimao. My boy Towsons. Tanzanite. Some guy, I don't okay. even know. <laughs> Frozen Danny. Right over here. <laughs> Some other car. <laughs> this E92 pulled up and it sounded amazing. Got another F80 over here. This is the homie, the Silver Surfer, Silver M3. Crazy build F80. I think I saw Caleb hands on detailing pull up over here. Yes, sir, with his E92, along with the boy Nick and his M4. Make sure you guys support hands on detailing always. Yo, check out my boy's custom headlights with the M logo right there. That shit's hard. So when you get the turn, hard. it's kind of cool with the turn signals, right? So yeah. Like, yeah, that's dope. Damn. You never see that before either. Nah, it's something different. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think we got an M5 over here, 5 Series. Another F80. Sick ass E92 M3. We have Raymond's E92. First time seeing it in person. Absolute beauty. And then PSI actually owns the other side of the shop now, which actually Adam LZ used to have his shop here for all the OG members before he moved to the compound. So let's show you guys what's in here. Got some classics. Looks like we got some E36s. Beautiful Techno Violet I see up there. Clown shoe. This is crazy how this used to be LZ's old shop. Yeah. Right here. Time. All the old videos. Everybody moves up, but it worked out for PSI because now they have, what, two extra lifts and more room to work on their cars, so so that's huge. What do you guys think about the yin and yang right here? Clean the car up a little bit earlier, and of course it rained here in Florida, but all of the homies' cars looking hella clean. My boy Chris Marina. What up, boy? We got Chris pulling up with the CS. Damn, it's getting deep in here. We got an M340i. Got a G82. Couple F30s, let's go. What up, boy? How you been? I put my window down and I just washed my car, so you know what that Oh, is. damn, bro, my V, my V. That's a real car guy right here. You got the homies, Moto Gear TV pulling up in the M2. Eee! What up, baby? What up? What's up, what's up? And in the E90 as well. Team Moto Gear, Team Moto Gear. <laughs> what up, baby? How you been, how you been? My boy Christian just pulled up in his brand new G87 M2 as well. Make sure you guys check out his video. He just got this car. I think he just posted a video like yesterday. So congrats to him. His is actually the same spec as Sean's, except he has the carbon buckets. And his review is definitely a good one. So make sure you guys go and check that out. I think he pulled up with Ali as well. So yeah, this is vehicle virals for those of you guys that don't know. He probably still has the dealer plates on because he just got this and just dropped a video on it. But another one in Orlando, the bros. Moto Gear TV pulled up, Mark and Kirk. Yes, you already know. Follow my boys. Checking Support out. them. Ah. Everybody's checking out the M2. I already got a Danny and Towson's reaction. Let's hear it, bro. Let's hear it. What do you think, Kirk? It's blue. It's it, definitely blue. It's blue like your shirt. I mean, he's, yeah, he's about to it. It's blue like your shirt and your shoes. <laughs> Anything else? It, it really stands out. Like, but you made a video on it. You, know, you haven't been hard on him like I have. Seeing it in person. Yeah. It looks better. Yeah. My thing is, I want to see it like modified, like lowered front lip and all of that. Yeah. Because Go check out PSI's and then uh, yeah, inside, and then let me know after what you think about it. It's inside. Yeah, yeah. It looks super hard. But not too bad. Mark, what do you think? I don't know, man. I don't know. The thing is, hey, look, man. After a couple hashtags, to be honest. I'm not too sure about this. Yeah. Like this, and then how it po how it's like receded. Yeah. The square. I mean, it's not. Christian said it too in his video as well. It's not an ugly car, yeah. but it's one of those cars, kind of like the GAD, where you kind of need to see people modding it. Yeah. Go see PSI's yeah, and yeah, we'll come talk to you guys after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but from certain angles, it's a hit or miss. <laughs> back in the garage right now that's gonna wrap it up for this video it was definitely a great you know event that psi hosted like i mentioned before let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below uh your thoughts on the new g87 m2 
and just your general overall opinion. Like I said before, at the end of the day, it is a BMW. So, you know, I appreciate and respect all BMWs, new and old, even though I do give them some hate a little bit on Instagram. But again, that's my opinion and I'm entitled to it. You can have yours as well. It shouldn't cause any problems with anybody. At the end of the day, we're all BMW enthusiasts and we have the best community out there. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. Make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button, follow your boy on Instagram, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Peace.